So we have lines y equals to x plus 1 and y equals to minus x minus 7 as our axis of symmetry of the function uh, f of x equals to minus 2 divided by x plus p uh, plus q. Uh, you can see that uh, there's a hyperbola that we have there. And then uh, 4.1, 4.1 says show that p equals to 4 and q equals to minus 3, right? Um, one thing to note about the axis of symmetry, um, the axis of symmetry, uh, an x, an axis of symmetry, it cuts a shape or a graph in equal halves, right? So this equation, y equals to x plus 1, will cut this hyperbola in equal halves. And then this other equation, uh, y is equals to minus x uh, minus 7, will also cut the hyperbola in equal halves. So what you can do with these two equations, if you equate them, then you can find the x value of uh, the vertical asymptote, right? And then uh, from the vertical asymptote, you can then find uh, p, and from the uh, y, you can then find q. So if we go ahead and do that, we get um, x plus 1 equals to minus x minus 7. Uh, we take minus x to the left hand side, we get 2x equals to minus 8, then x equals to minus 4, right? And then um, we know that x is equals to minus 4, but what's, what is uh, y, right? We can substitute x uh, equals to minus 4 to one of these two equations to find y. So let's take the first one, we'll get um, y equals to minus 4 plus 1, uh, which is equals to um, minus 3. If we took the other equation, we're going to get y equals to um, minus, minus 4 uh, minus 7, right? Uh, which is which was gonna also give us minus 3, right? So we have x equals to minus 4 and y equals to uh, minus 3. So from our equation of a hyperbola, uh, let me write it down again f of x uh, equals to minus 2 divided by x plus p uh, plus q. So x equals to minus 4 is our vertical uh, asymptote and y equals to minus 3 is our horizontal asymptote uh, but we know that from uh, the general formula of a uh, hyperbola x uh, plus p equals 0 x equals to minus p will give us our uh, vertical asymptote but um, we already know that x is supposed to be minus 4, right? So from here, we can say uh, minus 4 equals to minus p, uh, which implies that p is just equals to 4. So there we have it there, p is equals to 4. And um, q is equals to, um, q is equals to minus 3. Um, so let's move ahead. Uh, 4.2 4.2 says uh, calculate the x intercept of f. Um, as soon as I hear x intercept, I think y is equal to 0, right? So we're gonna have um, uh, 0 equals to minus 2 divided by x um, plus 4. Uh, minus 3. I take um, minus 3 to the left hand side, I get 3 equals to minus 2 divided by x plus 4. Uh, cross multiply, I get 3x 
uh, plus 12 equals to uh, minus 2 therefore 3x equals to minus 14 uh, x equals to minus 14 um, divided by 3 and then that's the x intercept and then 4.3 4.3 says uh, sketch the graph of f clearly label all uh, intercepts with the axis and asymptotes we have the x intercept and uh, now we're supposed to determine the y because the instruction says we should label all the intercepts so y intercept x equals to zero so i'm going to get um, y equals to minus two divided by uh, 0 uh, plus 4 uh, minus 3 um, let me put that in my calculator and you know see what i get um, minus half minus 3 so that is minus 2 divided by 4 uh, minus 3 i get uh, minus 7 uh, divided by 2 which is uh, minus 3.5 right uh, so there I have the intercepts uh, now I can uh, take out my ruler and then I sketch uh, the x at uh, the y axis and then uh, there's the x axis and then now let me put uh, the asymptotes the vertical asymptotes is at uh, minus 4 so i'm gonna put a line there uh, to indicate the vertical asymptote and then uh, the horizontal asymptote is at uh, minus three so i'm gonna have minus three and then there's the horizontal asymptote and then the intercepts uh, the y intercept is at minus three comma five so let's say it's somewhere uh, minus uh, 3.5 minus 3.5 and uh, the x-intercept is at minus 14 divided by 3 so minus 14 divided by 3 is minus 4.6 so here yeah, I can have minus 4.6 so when you have uh, the asymptotes and the intercepts they can then tell you where you're supposed to draw your graph, right? Um, for y to cut a uh, minus 3,5 and not go through the asymptote, it's supposed to be, um, supposed to be here, right? So y will be like this. Uh, so no, the, the graph will be here. So it's cutting minus 3,5, but it's not going through, um, the asymptote because if it was here then it was gonna have to go through the asymptote which is totally wrong uh, the same is true for uh, this side where we have uh, the vertical asymptote uh, is going to be uh, something like this is going through minus 4.6 but it's not cutting any asymptote because if it cuts the asymptote uh, we do something wrong so um, the asymptotes uh the intercepts and then we have the correct shape